Hey everyone, remember me? Yes, I know it's been like two months since I've done a video and uh, for that I apologize. It's not that I haven't been filming, it's just that the stuff that I have been filming uh, I cannot post at the moment due to an NDA for some really cool stuff we have coming up. Hopefully, possibly, maybe soon-ish. Anyways, welcome back to Taylor Racing. As you can tell, it's windy. We're out in the middle of the desert. That's right, the Texas desert still. And uh, I guess I can address a bunch of the questions that have been brought, well, that have been posted to me and saying, hey, Ryan, how come you haven't done any you know, updates on like the watercraft, or the snowmobiles, or any of the electric stuff from Taiga. Well, shocker, uh, I'm not at Taiga anymore. Uh, I haven't been there for a few months. Uh, it's a long story, and we'll get into it. And I, I guess in the next question, in the next video, uh, I can address a bunch of the questions that have been brought up, and people have been asking me about, uh, you know, the EVs and and what I think, and would I buy one, and all the yada yada yada. Uh, I'll bring that up in the next uh, video as I cannot post some of the stuff now uh, or I can't answer the questions and post it uh, as per my NDA from Tyga. So, uh, but next month I can, it's over and I can, and I, and I can address your questions because I've got, oh man, like a hundred questions or so of, you know, my thoughts on the EVs. Uh, you know, would I buy one? Would I do this? Would I do that? Uh, all the other stuff with uh, Ducati, Aprilia, uh, you know, what have you. And uh, yeah, I can I can do a full update. Obviously, I haven't been on uh, any CSBK grids lately. I haven't been racing because I'm in the desert I'm down in Texas. And yes, I will be leaving Montreal and moving away from Montreal. And we will be coming down and most likely moving to Texas because Man, how can you not? It's like 100 degrees, which is like 42. It's a little hot, but you know, I love it. I can ride all year round, which is really, really cool. Uh, there's a bunch of tracks down here. Obviously, Coda. There's stuff outside of uh, uh, Dallas. There's stuff outside of Houston. Uh, I can do some super motard. Obviously, lots of off-roading. And, uh, you know, we've got a, a couple of really cool things planned, uh, motorcycle-wise and, and power sports-wise. You know, just power sports wise is, is another thing. So anyways, I just want to give you guys a quick update, a quick, uh, you know, hello and, you know, kind of give you an update of what's going on and why we haven't posted. And as I said, I'm hoping that we can post some of the cool stuff we've been filming the last little bit. Uh, but it's a uh, uh, it's it's. It's a shared project, so um, I can't do it right now. Uh, anyways, another thing I need to do is I need to buy a bunch of new equipment. So what do you guys think? Should we just go straight up with the GoPros? Should we go with the 360Xs or whatever they're called, the DJIs? Or what do you guys think we should use? Or what do you guys think is the best platform for power sports uh, filming and you know vlogging and all that kind of stuff we want to do? Uh, obviously. The, the GoPros that I've had for the last three, four years have taken a beating, right? You know, like between being submerged in the water with the watercraft, uh, out in the snow with the snowmobiles, on the racetrack, in the dirt, they're just, they're just, they're toast, they're done. Uh, and those are like the GoPro sessions four and five. And then of course we had a couple older GoPros like uh, fours and fives, the blacks and whatever they are. So what do you guys think we should get? And uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, please. Cheers, everyone.